Mohammed. 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 Mohammed, the first time I am mistaken for a white man, I feel a rush of joy lurching from my gut. A relief. I finally want a place today. A right to belong, an invisibility if only for a moment. I am asked what my name is, and I flinch. The jig is up. I am caught in a lie, Mohammed. The familiarity fades. A little flicker behind the eyes isn't lit for me anymore. The third stage of grief is bargaining. But you look so much like us. You don't look Arab at all. Where do you get your blue eyes from? They are so beautiful. It must be somewhere in your bloodline. We must be this beautiful. Which parts of your ancestry do you owe us? Which parts have you stolen? Mohammed. I spent my life carving vowels out of my throat so my name will be easier to say sanding down my grandfather so I could fit him in a carry-on bag, a driver's license, a job interview, Mohammed, the praised one, the one thanked in the earth and sky. I am pouring oil down my throat until it lines my stomach, until no guttural could ever escape. I still say it the way my first white teacher said it, the way she corrected me in front of the classroom until I learned how to stumble over my identity the way she did to strip away parts of myself that couldn't be marketed to a western tongue. I still shave off my curly hair and wear blue to bring out my eyes. So beautiful, where did they? Mohammed. 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 Takes me 19 years to learn how to pronounce my own name in public. The first time I say it, the way my mother did, when she named me Muhammad, it feels like I have stolen something back.